Ciao tutti, Americans in Italy. Although we're not in Italy right now, we are actually here in beautiful, sunny San Diego. I'm Pat. I'm Steve. Ciao, everyone. And we're going to talk to you about why Italy when we bought our palazzo and give you a little bit of a background as to what inspired us, why Italy, and why this palazzo. Well, first of all, we love traveling internationally, and Europe is one of our favorite go-to spots. Uh, the why for me, my heritage, my father's mother and father are from Fiete, which is in the Abruzzo region, and my mother's mother and father are from the Puglia district, down in southern Italy. So we love Italy, top to bottom, but we wanted to be centrally located, uh, close to the airport, uh, in a mountainous region, uh, to really feel the culture. And going through all the websites, uh, we went through I, I, several, Idealista, Immobiliati. Uh, finally, we, uh, we decided on a Bruzo Rural property. Mm -hmm. We looked at hundreds and hundreds of homes. And this one always kept coming back to us. Mm -hmm. uh, the big stone building with the character and the history. Uh, the, the, the family that owned it, owned it from the beginning. Mm -hmm. uh, the C.R. Fardini family, and we really are honoring their heritage. Uh, we actually uh, were asked, what do you want to name it? Do you want to name it uh, Esparza, which is, is past last name, mm -hmm. or, or Marciano? And it's like, no, uh, I really want to, I want to keep the culture mm -hmm. in this village uh, of, of 5,000 people. And the C.R. Fardinis really deserve to have that history and the legacy. Uh, and uh, I'm sure that we'll get into a lot of the history. Mm -hmm. It was a schoolhouse mm -hmm. uh, at one point where, where many kids who couldn't afford school uh, attended mm -hmm. uh, in, this, in this home that we, we purchased, which is really, truly incredible. And the town itself, the, the story behind the town with the, the, the stairs of San Nicola, uh, it's just an amazing story. It is. And, and you know, we are... We, we want to uphold the integrity of any historic property that comes into our hands. We feel that we are fiduciaries of those. And this is why we bought this beautiful palazzo in Trevento. So Trevento is in the region of Molise. And Molise is like smack dab in the middle of Italy. Uh, and it's actually very uh, well positioned, about two and a half hours from Rome because we do fly in and out to come back to the States. Um, and it's also about, what, 30 to 40 minutes to the Adriatic and to a regional airport called Pescara. And so that allows us for that flexibility to fly hoppers anywhere in Europe or go across the Adriatic into Greece or to Turkey. And so we're big, avid travelers. We've, we've worked hard all of our lives, all of our lives, still working a little bit. And as we prepare for retirement, we want to design what that looks like, right? We always want to design what, uh, what our lifestyle is going to be, what our retirement is going to be. And when the pandemic hit, I was still working. Uh, Steve had a couple months of mm -hmm. furlough. And there was one day I was working up here on the off deck. I went downstairs and he was looking at some websites. And I said, hey, what are you doing? And I went to go get a glass of water. And he said, I'm looking at homes in Italy. I'm like, okay. And so I went back up, worked some more, came back at about 6 p.m., um, closed up shop, came back at 6 p.m. And I said, hey, what are you doing? And he says, I'm on my 200th page of looking at homes and I've got three that I want to show you. And I'm like, okay, he must be pretty serious. Yeah. Um, <laughs> you know, the, the things that influenced me, uh, such as House Hunters International, mm -hmm. uh, was one of the things we loved watching it. Mm -hmm. uh, and, you know, I just figured, well, you know, somebody else can do it. Why not us? Right. And I come from a very large Italian family, as I said before. And I'm the first one of, of all of my cousins and my, my, my aunts and my uncles who purchased back in the home country. Mm -hmm. And uh, when, when I first told my mother that uh, we purchased a home in Italy. Who is 90 years old. She said, you purchased a home in Italy? And 
and she's like, well, you know, my mother and father, they, they, they wanted to leave it. And, and you want to go back? And, it, it, you know, back in the day when, you know, they left for, for a better life mm -hmm. to, to the United States. And, and mm -hmm. the U.S. Is, uh, is an amazing country and has been very good to us. And <laughs> Absolutely. You know, it, it's, our, it's our home country, but to, to own a piece of, of, of the homeland where uh, my, my relatives and, and my culture come from, it is amazing. Mm -hmm. It really is. Mm -hmm. um, the, the the people of uh, our, our town of Trevento, by the way, uh, are, are so incredibly welcoming. We met them there. We were just there in July. Okay, so the first day uh, we were there in July of last year. First time seeing it because we bought it during the pandemic. Didn't see it for a whole year until the Italy flying restrictions, you know, came out. And so we're like, we're going over there. So we went over there um, and we started just cleaning right right away. There was, uh, we bought it with furniture, at least the one third of the palazzo. And so as we were cleaning, um, the gentleman from Perpolo, the gentleman from Trevento said, the mayor would like to meet you. And I'm like, okay, we were sweaty, dirty, dust everywhere. And I'm like, now? And he's like, yes, my ankles were like swollen to big old tree trunks. And I'm like, okay. So we kind of wiped the dust off of us and went across the street where the mayor's office is and met him. And they were, everybody was kind in the office. We took photos together. <laughs> so and, and it they was know, nice. And they know that we're not just there to change the way they live. They live. I mean, right and, now. And, you know, we're, we're there as visitors in, in their their region and, uh, and we respect that and we want to acclimate yeah. to the village and with the people and learn the language as much as we can and assist when we can we're the only english speakers i think there's one other couple who bought in trevento i'm not sure where they're at if they're in the historic center or if they're out into kind of the the farmland area if they bought a farmhouse i'm not sure but in Trevento, I, we're the only English speakers, the only Americans, and so we want to we want to make sure we acclimate with with the the village and and the people. And uh, again, they're so incredibly amazing and friendly and helpful. And they took us to a bank, and what would probably last four hours, five hours to open an account only lasted what maybe an hour and a half. And so really, really guided us. Mm -hmm. Yeah, once you get past the fear. And, and, and you know, fear stands in the way of you know, many people and what they want to do. Mm -hmm. uh, we did a lot of research. You know, we didn't, you know, we, we, a lot of YouTube videos, a lot of websites that we looked at. What what are the taxes? How do we do this? Who do we trust? Uh, and, and I will tell you that Abruzzo Rural Properties, uh, as a matter of fact, we saw them on House Hunters, House Hunters International after we bought the house from, right. from her. Mm -hmm. um, she was so, so helpful and knowledgeable. And she's an attorney as well, which not only helps yeah. when we're purchasing the property online, sight unseen, and everything that goes into that as well. So uh, the second property um, in our second video uh, talks about that two thirds of the rest of the Palazzo. Now we do have two tenants um, within the Palazzo that own their own little property. We have a gentleman who owns um, the lower Lo level, local dentist. local dentist, and then we have another ge gentleman who grew He's up in, forever, forever yeah. and he owns the middle part. So that middle door that you see in the video, which are actually just a montage of pictures, but hopefully I'm going back in May, so I'll take a lot more videos. Uh, that middle door is his door, um, and he has that just that first floor, ground floor, or street level floor area, and then the rest is ours, which is about how many square feet? Um, our ours is about seven thousand square feet okay. of the eighty-two hundred square feet. Right, along and, with the garden, we have a four thousand square foot garden, which is very cool. You know, by no means do we want to change anything in the house, other than to to make it uh, more energy efficient, right. seismic improvements. Mm -hmm. uh, we want to keep the original. In fact, when we were talking earlier and said that it was a schoolhouse, mm -hmm. there's the, the, the hooks that the backpacks 
were, were, were for the still children. on the wall. Yes. Uh, and we're going we're gonna to keep that. Mm -hmm. and, and we we've researched a lot of pictures of Trevento, which we're going to blow up black and white. We don't really know when the house was built. We were assuming 1820, maybe. Right, right. Uh, but we are going to blow up those pictures and, and, and do pictures throughout the house, too. To, to have people come in and some some of the students who who had been to that school are still alive to this day. It was right. the school was in nineteen. Uh, it was right after right after something. the war, right? Yeah. And um, so yeah, uh, it really yeah. is such uh, as you said, Pat, that we're stewards of this mm -hmm. amazing amazing property, uh, and the, you know we we thank the Sierra Cardinis for. For allowing us, we, we met Mr. Sierra Paradini via via WhatsApp when we were doing <laughs> the when previous we were owner buying the house. We did it from a WhatsApp video, uh, yeah, which um, really wasn't very yeah, good because the walls the, are like I don't know, it's a meter thick, yeah, a meter thick, and, and yeah, it's the, the it's it's just uh, an incredibly very well, but. strong uh, structure mm -hmm. uh, with with a. a Beautiful cellar and sub basement where the, the kids used to eat, mm -hmm. and uh, you know the, the the tiles on the floor are, are beautiful, incredible. Cotta, original cotta tiles. Uh, and we, you know, doing you know watching YouTube videos, we've seen you know many videos mm -hmm. where they you know they actually use tractor oil to save some of these terracotta tiles. Yeah, and um, and keep the yeah. the brilliance of it. So we're learning a lot. Again, it's wa eyes wide open. If you don't do your research, Steve had, I think, like five, six Excel spreadsheets with every uh, tax. He, he researched the different taxes. He had uh, yeah, spreadsheets saying, okay, if we come in at this price, because the seller was motivated to sell, actually, on both properties. They were motivated to sell. So we had different counter offers. He had Excel spreadsheets. <laughs> you know, if we... If they agreed to this, this is what our taxes would be. This is what our uh, co our costs would be. So we'll go into that in another yeah. video. Um, we we picked our notario. Uh, we right. had a couple of notarios to, to choose from. You know, and we chose the local, mm -hmm. um, which he knows. That he knows everyone. He knows the people. Uh, it's kind of like a, a, a big family there in Toronto. Mm -hmm. so. Very professional in the, in the Molise district, and. Uh, very proud to be part of that community. Mm -hmm. yeah. Well, good. Well, we just wanted to introduce ourselves. Um, yes, we're here in San Diego. I go back in May. Um, and so we'll be taking some more videos. Hopefully, yeah. Steve can join me mm -hmm. and see what else needs to be done. We are currently speaking to um, someone regarding renovation projects. Haven't um, quite seen the paperwork yet on that. You know, COVID was a little bit rampant in um, uh, in all of Italy sure. just recently and the uncertainty. And so what we're so. doing right now, and I'm sure that many of you who are interested in purchasing homes uh, mm -hmm. internationally, uh, Italy is doing a 110% super bonus energy and seismic improvement mm -hmm. as part of their stimulus package. Uh, you have to increase your energy savings levels by two. Two, two levels is A through G. And with a building of 1800, we're at G, so it's exactly. no problem in, in, in right. increasing that. So the, the government gives you a certain stipend of uh, 90,000 plus euros per unit, which we are uh, four units, right? Uh, plus, and that's for seismic, and then plus the 200,000 euros for uh, something along those lines for energy. Mm -hmm. uh, and you know, it's going to pay off in the long run and get the, the economy going. So we're in the process of uh, picking engineers and and, and uh, general contractors mm -hmm. to get that going. Right. Uh, so it's going to be a very exciting uh, venture for us, uh, and we will be doing videos, uh, you know, throughout the time, uh, start to finish, and what we're doing, and mm -hmm. and how you can also take advantage of that. Right. You don't need to have, you know, some some channels say you need to take our course. Do the research on your own. Right. And then if you have questions, by all means, you know, you can absolutely hire an attorney. We have an attorney, Nick Mehta, mm -hmm. uh, who's 
from, uh, he's Bari. got an office in Bari, he's got an office in Milan, he's got an office, offices throughout uh, Italy, and we, we actually did a, a video consultation with him. Mm -hmm. He's incredible. Mm -hmm. uh, he's going to help me with my dual citizenship uh, for uh, to be able to get an Italian passport. Mm -hmm. And then uh, and then we're going to uh, move on to residency after that, along with the super bonus program that, that we're on. Yeah, so we have a lot, a lot, lot of, a lot of, a lot of stuff to do. But we wanted just to come out, introduce ourselves. Uh, please, if there are any questions you want us to address, we will in Absolutely. future videos. Absolutely. And the other thing is, I just wanted to let you know that this particular um, home we have in Italy is our legacy home. We have a big family. I have five daughters and and their spouses and grandchildren. And we want this to to be left to um, our children and our grandchildren. And, and so, I have uh, my brother and, and my sister and all of the kids and grandchildren. Nieces and nephews. Uh, my yeah. brother has seven children. Godchildren. Um, and him and his mm -hmm. wife. And they, they love traveling. Uh, they're both. Uh, in the medical field, mm -hmm. my brother's a neurosurgeon, my sister loves a neurosurgery nurse, my sister's also in the healthcare uh, uh, profession. Yeah. So mm -hmm. uh, we want this to be a home where people can come and they, they all, uh, uh, everybody has a bedroom. Because, all right, you know, right. and, and I have uh, quite a few relatives in Rome and in body and throughout Italy uh, I, I'm, on both my mother and my father's side. So, and we know each other through Facebook and uh, Gosh, it's, it's been wonderful reconnecting. Absolutely, absolutely. So, first of all, I want to thank all of you for watching. And yes. thank you to all of our new subscribers. Um, would love for you to hit the like button and subscribe. And if there are any questions you have for us, please let us know so we can ad address those. I like to actually personally look at these, um, read the comments, and then reply back to you. And, again, we we it's been a journey the last couple of years but what the first moment we stepped in that um in that palazzo was more than we thought and and way better so yes. we want to share all of that with you so cheers cheers incredible Salute. experience yeah exactly so you have a great great time um and then the next time we come back uh we will probably be talking about the yeah. how we acquired the palazzo yes. okay all right bye-bye thanks for listening uh-huh take care